Hello. About a week ago I made some chop and drop simply by laying out a line of seaweed on my lawn going over it with a lawnmower. I posted the video, you may have seen it. Once we'd chopped the seaweed, we took it to a raised bed, we put a layer on top of the raised bed. I think that bed already had some leaves and grass on it, I'm, I'm fairly sure that's how it was. And the same with some uh, buckets and bags of soil that I'd used this year, but want to use again next year, so I needed to, to put some spark back into it. Uh, all the soil in the video, in the raised beds, the buckets and bags, have produced vegetables this year. That's got to take some of it out of it. So the chop and drop will put something back into it. Now one of the things I said in that video was that there's no more work to be done. In regards to this chop and drop, in regards to putting that goodness back into the soil. We're in the autumn of the year. We haven't got through autumn yet. We're going into winter and then we'll go into spring. That's the time we'll need the soil to be ready to go. So we're looking at perhaps four or five months worth of time to elapse before we want to grow anything in that soil. That gives nature a chance to do what nature does. The wind, the rain, the frost if we get some, the snow if we get some, the worms, everything that lives in that soil, I'll take that mix down and take it into the soil. Now one thing I didn't mention at the time was the tidy up. I'm going to cut you back to a couple of short clips of video here of me going over the sewer with the lawnmower. And I want you to take particular notice of the mess. There is a mess.
Okay, so as you could see, the garden was in a mess. Uh, and it's difficult to pick up from, from a lawn when you've chopped seaweed. You're not going to be able to do it, but there's no need to do it. There's no need for a tidy up. By all means, tidy up your paths, but there's no need to tidy your lawn up. How do I know that? How long is it going to stay a mess? Well, let's go out now and have a look at that area of ground that that seaweed was on. And bear in mind, I didn't tidy that area of ground up. The small pieces of chopped seaweed that were left on the lawn stayed on the lawn. That was one week ago. Let's go and see what it looks like now. How about that? How about that? A week ago that lawn was a mess. Covered in small bits of seaweed but there isn't much left there now. Where's it gone? I didn't move it. I didn't move it. If you need proof, if proof is needed, that worms will take down seaweed into the soil, there you have it. There you have it. The seaweed has disappeared into the lawn, the small bits of seaweed that were left over. The worms have taken it down in just a week. Now you wouldn't see that on a raised bed where you've got um, a layer of chop and drop over soil because it, it will take months. But where there's only a few pieces of seaweed left scattered on the lawn, like that, small pieces chopped up, the worms take it down into the lawn. It's a win-win. You don't have to tidy up. The worms get something to eat 
and he alone gets the benefit. Uh, it's just another example of how good seaweed is as a garden fertilizer, how flexible it is, how it can be used for many things, and how, if you chop your seaweed up on your lawn, there's really no need to tidy up, provided you're prepared to live for a week or two with a lawn that may look a little untidy. Let nature do the tidy up. Let nature do what nature does. Nature will tidy it up for you to everybody's benefit. Okay, so I hope you've enjoyed this video. This is Homegrown Veg, signing out.